Hey guys, how's it going? Today I'm going to show you guys how to make a Roblox shirt. A uh, very simple one. And yeah, let's get started. First up, you want to hop on the Roblox website because we're going to get the template that Roblox gives us. So we can turn that into a shirt. And to find the Roblox template, you want to hop over to the Create tab. Then you want to scroll down over to Avatar Items and where it says Upload Asset. And once you click on that, you can click on learn more and that'll bring you to this page here, which will give you a little bit more information about classic clothing. If you want to learn more, we're going to go over to uh, the shirts and pants section right here, which will give us two different templates, one for shirts and one for pants. So we're just going to copy the shirt template here and we're going to go over to the photo editor that we're going to be using in this video. We're going to be using Pixlr. I'm pretty sure is how you pronounce it. And it's spelled P-I-X-L-R. Once you search it up, it should be the first link, pixlr.com. Click on that, and then you can go over to Advanced Photo Editor, Pixlr E. Now, once you're on there, you can go over to uh, Create New and give your shirt template a name. I'm just going to do Simple Shirt. And another important step is to make sure you get the width and height correct. So that way it actually uploads on Roblox and not uh, gives you an error. As for the width, we want to be at 585 and the height we want to be at 559. We don't want a background, so make sure you have that disabled. Once you do that, you can click on create. And then from here, you'll be meted with a blank canvas and paste in the template from earlier. All right, so now that you've pasted the template, you'll have the template uh, on a new layer. Now you'll have all these different uh, faces on here that you want to remove so that way they are transparent and you can add your own design to them it's as for removing these faces and making them transparent for the shirt uh later on and we want to select the rectangle select tool uh on the left toolbox area and we want to start selecting each of these faces now to remove these with this rectangle select tool you just want to select it from a corner and drag it to the other corner you want to make sure you have the template layer selected as well and then you have to press on delete or backspace If you've done all the steps correctly, you should be meted with this template here, which will be a completely transparent Roblox template in which you can use for any future uh, shirts or pants that you can use uh, that you want to make in the future. You can even customize this and make it unique to be your own. I do have a video on that. It will be in the description if you do want to watch it. It just shows you how to customize it uh, just a little bit to make it unique and make it your own. Uh, however, I'm just going to right box there you go now it's unique it's my own template you can actually save this template and use it for future use to do that you can go over to the file button on the top left of pixlr and then you can do save and then you can save it as g file make sure transparent is checked and then you could click save as which will then open up your file folders and you can save it wherever you'd like whether that's a desktop or a specific folder now that you have your template you want to make your shirt. So to do that, we're just going to go over to the paint bucket tool. And then we want to change our color to whatever color we want the shirt to be. In this case, we're just going to go with a nice purple. I like that shade of purple. So now we're going to hop over to our first layer. Make sure you have that selected and now left click on the canvas. Okay, so now that I have my color, we want to select the template layer first. Right click on that and then we want to lock the template layer so we don't mess around with it accidentally. And then we want to go back to the color layer and make sure that's highlighted and then make sure you have the arrange tool selected and then we want to just drag it upwards to whatever length you want the sleeves to be whether you want a long sleeve shirt short sleeve but for this we're just going to make a simple t-shirt so we're just going to have it at that length right there we just need to do a few more touches here and there so to do that we want to go over to the rectangle select tool and then we want to change the rectangle select to ellipse select and once you do that you want to zoom on in over here to want to zoom on over here to where the upper torso is so that way you can create a neck hole so to do that you want to create a circle right around here 
to create that circle you then want to move it position it wherever you like so i think right around there is perfect so once you've done that go to the arrange tool and then press delete or backspace either or works and make sure you have the uh, colored layer selected now you have a very simple shirt if you want to keep it how it is you can however we're just going to do a few more touches to make it even better so first of all we want to add a outline here so to do that we want to hop over to the shape tool now once you're on there you want to go on draw and then you want to unselect fill tool and then you want to make sure you have circle selected and then you can change the outline to whatever you like uh, that's just the outline width. We're going to stick with two there. And then we want to change the color to whatever color you'd like. I'm just going to do a slightly lighter purple. And then you got to make sure you do this on a new and empty layer above the per, uh, the colored layer. Then you just want to make a circle roughly the same size. If it's not, you can always adjust it by just pressing the arrange tool and slowly adjusting a little bit just get the right shape when you create the circle and you'll be fine now that you have that it just looks a little bit better we're going to do the exact same thing for the arms as well so to do that we want to make a new and empty layer bring that down a little bit make it just above the color layer that's all that matters uh, make sure all these layers are also underneath the template layer and then you want to hop over to the shape tool again and this time you want to go on the line tool so once you do that you can then Create a line across the whole arm here. And once you do that, you'll have a little bit more depth to the arms and the neck hole. All right, so now that you've done that, you can then add some shading. So for this, there are multiple ways to go at it. You can either make your own shading, or you can go ahead and just search up some shading templates on Google. Now, I'm not too sure how to make my own shading all that well. So I'm just going to use Google. So all you want to do is search up shading template Roblox and then go to images. And some of these images are not actually transparent, even if they have the checkered background. So to make sure that they're actually transparent, you want to go to tools, color, and click on transparent. Now, once you do that, all of these are, should be transparent. Uh, as you can see right there, this, one, this one's transparent and this one's transparent all that however we're going to use this template right here we're just going to copy that template and then we're going to bring it over to pixlr so in this we want to create a new layer a new empty layer uh, bring it above everything and then you want to paste in that template by doing Control v some of these templates won't be the right size they won't be uh 585 by 559 However, you can always check if they are by just hovering over it and it'll say uh, the height and the width. You can always just adjust the size. It just won't be as high quality as it originally was, which is perfectly fine for me. However, if it does bother you, you can always just find one that is the right size, which this one is right here. This one is the right size. So you could always use this one. See, we do have a little bit of a problem here, which is the arms. So it does kind of go into the transparent part of the arms a bit. So of course we want that to be gone so that way it's not on the skin. To do that, we want to go over to the erase tool. Make sure you have that shading template selected. And then you want to change the brush to whatever seems the best for erasing this template. So we're just going to make that maybe 30. Yep, there we go. That's perfect. So then we just want to erase all of this. Maybe a little bit bigger, actually. 70. Yep, there we go. So we just want to erase all of this. Uh, I'm just going to get rid of the big parts first. And then we're just going to focus on the details afterwards. All right, so now that you've done that, you now have your shading template. Now, in my opinion, this shading template is just a little too dark. I think we just want to lighten up this template just a little bit. So to do that, I'm just going to right click on the shading template and just lower that opacity a little bit. And I think right there is perfect. I think that looks pretty good to me. 
However, there are a few more things that you can add to it to make it look just a little bit nicer. However, I'm just going to keep it as is, and that's perfect. I think that works. You want to add a few more things, you can always add a logo of sorts. So now that we're done that, we just want to go over to File, uh, Save, and now we want to save this template. So we want to save it as PNG, Transparent, and Save As. And once you do that, your folder will pop up and you can save it wherever you'd like, a folder of sorts or your uh, desktop. All right, and now you want to hop back over to Roblox. Once you're on here, you want to go on Create, scroll down a little bit until you go to Avatar Items, Upload Asset, and upload that shirt template that you just saved. In this case, I'm just going to find the simple shirt, just like that. Name it, whatever you'd like, simple shirt, description, simple shirt, upload the shirt onto Roblox. And just like that, it is now uploaded onto Roblox. There it is right there, the simple shirt, just like that. 